All right, so I'm out here in the junkyard. I'm gonna try to, well, I'm going to get the uh, brake booster and stuff for my Toyota that I showed you in the last video, but also I'm kind of looking for an air filter for my Toyota as well, like filter housing. And these, these van ones have intrigued me for a while because like this would fit the space I have available but it's kind of a bummer that the mass air meter's right here. Not that I care, I just not plug it in. Um, but I don't want to pay for it. So I'll look at some other stuff. I'll bring you guys back and show you, you know, kind of what I go through here. So looking around, I mean, most cars are gonna have like this box and lid style that's not really gonna fit. By the way, I knew this was down here. Um, Wow, it's got headers and everything. Huh. Huh. I haven't done anything with my Firebird because I haven't decided what to do with my Firebird. But, uh... I mean... This is, uh... Okay-ish. 460. This is a 95, by the way. Um, two wheels. Three wheels. We're missing one wheels. They're always missing one wheels. What the fuck is the deal with that? Anyway, I haven't decided what to do with it. Um, LS swaps and LS content is tiresome and boring. Um... This was definitely a runner. I don't know what all is wrong with the engine. I don't even know it's a 350. LT1 donors are, it's definitely a car engine with iron heads and there's nothing really wrong with that, but uh, I'd rather go with a known quantity, I think. I'm gonna probably ponder pulling that until they scrap it. But uh, let me get over here and get this brake. There's a couple Land Rovers out here that might have a cool air box. I'll have to, there's one right there, if you guys can see it. So I'll check those out before I pull this, uh, pull this booster. So the idea was that this is at least intended to go off-road, but it's two boxes, just normal boxes. So moving on. So, somebody already took the engine, the front suspension, the frame. Uh, the calipers would have been an upgrade for me too, if they were here. I don't see that frame cut sitting around. It might be up front. Um, it rained last night and the windows are blowing out of this, so it smells like a hobo's ball sack in here. It's all moldy and it's been a thousand degrees, as everybody knows. But it was pretty straightforward. It's four 14 millimeter nuts and uh, since they took everything, I can just walk in here like so and uh, pull this guy out. All I gotta do is unhook that wiring pigtail and those lines and we're good to go here. Except for my sadness, which that seems to indicate that this is a 13 16 bore master cylinder. I have to look up online, but that is not what I want. Like that is what I have, so. That would fill my heart with tears. Let's, uh, to the Google machine. So, wah, wah, wah. that is definitely the same stuff I already have. Uh, do your research, people. Trust the science. But there is another, as the prophecy is foretold, so let it be written, so let it be done. I'm going to segue into Facebook Marketplace land, and uh, it's about a 45-minute drive for me, so I'll bring you guys back. Look, a faceplate. Huh? All right, so the day's not a complete loss. I'll show you guys. I came back to this uh, filter housing, and I, took, I didn't want to get hit for the mass air meter, which was, like, right on the end. And then this thing actually flipped around and hooked on it like 
like this. I don't know what I do with a mass air meter. I threw it somewhere. So it hooked like this, and then this silencer chingadera deal sat up under the Vortec logo and fed air into it. it wasn't supposed to feed air, it was supposed to just be a silencer, but somebody was feeding their engine unmetered air. Anyway, um, this elbow fits right in here, or right on here, right on that flange. It's a little loose, but there's three bolts around it, and there's a lip, which means that I can print or make a spacer, washer kind of deal to clamp that guy down. Um, so this is gonna work, should work, cool, for my Forerunner, and it'll be 20 bucks. All right, so this has probably gone too far, but I'm having fun, and that's what counts. Uh, so this is the, the van, fourth gen LS van air box. And this is the thing that went on the mass airflow meter that sat like this. Uh, all these other LS tubes fit this. So I don't really know that I need a 90. I really don't need a 90, actually. Um, this S-shaped tube is off that van right there. Uh, this is off the Tundra right there. You guys probably recognize this. This is an air silencer off of the uh, any LS. That hose fits, but I can't get it off on the left-hand side. And I've tried a couple. They seem to be, like, glued on. Um, this is... I don't know where the hell this came from. So, like, ideally, I would mount this up against the fender wall. But that puts my outlet, see the mount holes are here, and the intake would be up against the hood. But uh, that puts the outlet facing the firewall, which is no good for me. Um, so I'm going to have to mount it like this. And then it has to come forward, go over, down, and back to the turbo. So I don't really know what I need. But I do know that most of this 3-inch stuff will fit it. And I'm pretty sure I have one of these at home. Um... This is like rigid. So I think I'm going to take this for the flange um, and leave everything else for now. I certainly know where to find it if I want it. I thought about taking this because it does fit on there. And it would bring my outlet forward and probably get around the fuse box. My fuse box is like right here. Uh, I think I'm going to take this. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. I'll see. bring you guys right back. My phone overheated and don't want to run. But anyway, um, that's everything I need. It's a big dual diaphragm uh, booster. So it'll give me more boosting power and a larger bore on the master. Will give me more fluid movement. So uh, I need to do brakes. So those will be, upgrades will be in another video, what I do for calipers and rear wheel cylinders. But uh, I'm off to a great start today, even though I had some mishaps. So kind of goes to show you guys just like you got to keep on keeping on thanks for watching we'll see you next time